hi everyone this is Tommy and welcome to my youtube channel so it's so good to be here again today and today we'll be talking about debt management it's very important very important in personal finance that you know how to manage your debts and that's because so that's really people believe it's something negative and that oh once you're in debt is wahala okay so it depends i would say that so it depends on why you are going into this debt and good debt is when you borrow or when you take a mortgage to buy a house when you take a debt to actually acquire an asset that is good on the other hand when you take debts when you take on debt to fund a lifestyle say that you borrow to buy clothes you borrow to buy luxury brands of bags that's bad debt that 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 is something that you could have avoided and when i say that some debts are good is for instance if i own a business and i need to expand my business so i need more money to be able to produce more products and then sell so if i take a debt and um, i pay an interest for let's say i'm paying three percent monthly on this particular um, debt that i took from wherever bank um, a friend anywhere so if i'm paying three percent on this debt and i put this money in my business and this product that i'm producing when i sell it i am making a profit of about six percent so that means even when i pay back this debt that i took and um, i pay back the interest of three percent i still have a positive three percent profit on my end it has just allowed me to be able to that's uh, it has just allowed me to be able to do more because of the because of the extra cash or the extra money that i have to put in my business so that's what we call leveraging debt so you're leveraging it and it's in a positive way and i also want you to understand that the same way compounding works when you save your money so compounding is let me explain compounding compounding is so you have hundred dollars you invest hundred dollars in january at the end of january you got a profit you got an interest of interest income of ten dollars so that means that money you have is now one hundred and ten dollars so if you leave that ten dollars in that investment if you do not take it out it means that the money that will be rolled over in february is now 110 so that means that the interest will now be calculated on a higher amount so it will be on 110 instead of 100 dollars that you started with in january so it's compounding so if at the end of february you now got 125 because of the extra ten dollars you added so that 125 goes in in march and then the interest is calculated on it again and then it keeps growing that's the concept of compounding interest when you when you save and then you're putting back whatever income you're making in that investment you're putting it back into the investment so everything keeps compounding so it gets bigger and um, larger over time that's compounding interest so this same concept of compounding also works when you take a debt so that means that if in month one you did not pay back this debt that you took the interest we compound it gets bigger so your debt will keep growing and growing and growing and then it becomes so much that if you are not careful it goes it just 
you, you are just not able to control it anymore because it just keeps growing it's becoming so much that you look at it that oh i just took a thousand dollars how did a thousand dollars become a thousand five hundred dollars that how then you realize that interest is compounding on your debts and that is why you need to be sure that what you are taking this debt for is actually an asset and not just for you to fund a want that is totally unnecessary so if you have taken a debt like a mortgage to buy a house see the value of property increases over time so that means even though you have taken debts to acquire that property that property is also growing in value so it means that at the end of the day it's a win-win for you so it makes sense but if your debt is on credit cards for instance credit card the interest rate that you're paying to borrow that money is very high it's on the very high side and if all you are taking using that money to do is to acquire this 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 tv acquire this gadget acquire this 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 things that you necessarily do not need things that are not generating income for you you're just buying them because you want them then it might skyrocket and then become so uncontrollable so the first thing you want to do like i've always said or like i've talked about in my previous videos be sure that for every purchase you are making you are able to differentiate that is this a need or a want i was at a store with my friend last week and i saw some very pretty pretty items that i just liked and i told my friend that anytime i come to this store i'm always buying things that i don't need <laughs> so I picked up an item and she asked me a need or a want and I said yeah I think it's a want not really a need so I dropped it I didn't get I didn't buy it so sometimes you need an accountability partner somebody that can hold you accountable for your goals your goals to not overspend your goals to save more your goals to curb all of this unnecessary expenses see everybody likes pizza everybody likes burger but it is not every time that you need to spend money on all of these things you can actually cook in the house that is way those are ways that you can actually save some money so it's not every time you want to eat out it's not every time you want to just see self-care is key um rewarding yourself for a job well done is good but more juicy in all of those things is important and that is why you also need to put a budget for all of these things so that at the end of the day you still get to enjoy your life but you are doing it you're accountable for yourself while you're doing this so in part two we are going to talk about how we can actually become debt free what are those strategies that you can apply to your finances to make sure that you are able to sort out your debts thank you so much for listening and to so next time thank you for watching my channel it's always good to be here and um, to talk bye